So people are typically a little bit scared of making bread. So I found a pretty easy recipe that's pretty easy to follow. And I thought I'd share it because I'm a little bored. And it's rainy outside. And it's windy. I wanted to go outside and work in my garden a little bit. But I don't guess that's going to happen. So I decided I'll just go ahead and make some bread. And I usually start with um, some hot water. And I usually just take the temperature. And I want my water to be usually about 110 degrees. So like 110, 115 degrees. Just about at 110. So we're going to start with one cup of warm water. Then we are going to add a fourth a cup of sugar. I'm going to whisk this together just to dissolve it a little bit. Then I'm going to add my yeast. And I keep this stored in the refrigerator. And it calls for two tablespoons of yeast. And then I'm going to mix this together. And what the sugar does is it helps activate the yeast. You want to get it good and mixed and you want it to be a little bit bubbly. I'm going to put my timer on my stove for five minutes. I'm going to let this activate for five minutes. Now the recipe calls for three and a half cups of flour. And typically I just add mine a little bit at a time because you want your dough to be sticky. And you want it to, I like for mine to ball up on my dough hook and be a little bit sticky. That way it's, when it bakes, it's fluffy and it's not, it's not chewy because you want a fluffy bread. You don't want a chewy bread. So I just kind of add my flour a little bit at a time and I kind of see what it looks like and what it's doing. Instead of just dumping it all in there and then you having a very chewy, dense bread because that doesn't taste good at all. Okay, now that the five minutes is up, I turn off my alarm. Now I'm going to add to the yeast mixture. It's nice and bubbly. I'll let it set for five minutes. I'm going to add a third of a cup of oil. One and a half teaspoons of salt. One egg, and I'm just going to add half of the flour. Put my dough hook on, and I'm going to mix it and see what it looks like before I add the rest of my flour. I'm just trying to speed up and I've got enough flour 
in here that it makes it ball up on the dough. So Starting to ball up. I'm gonna just a little bit more. There it goes. See so how completely balled up on the dough hook. I'm gonna call that sniff that flower good. I can still see I have a little bit left in the bottom, and I'll just use that to roll my dough out. sticky. So I like to put a little bit of flour on top of it before I put it in a bowl. So I just take it and I just kind of form it into a bowl. Put it in a lightly oiled bowl. I'll just kind of flip it like so, and then I will cover this and let it rise in a warm place for about an hour. And then I'll show y'all how I knead it and put it in the pan. Okay, our dough has rose for about an hour. Now I'm just going to place it down and I'm going to knead it for about a minute on the floured surface. I like to sprinkle some flour on top. Just bring back like that. That's kind of how I know when it's ready. Now I'm just going to brush um, some of the pans with some butter. I'm going to brush the bottom and I'm going to brush the sides. And I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees. Also use if you don't want to use butter, you can use an egg wash. Okay, now I'm just going to cut my dough in half. And then I'm going to kind of fold it under. And then I'm going to 
form it into some kind of a loaf shape. And I'm going to put it in my loaf here. And I'm going to let these rise on top of the oven where it's a little bit warm. The instructions said to let these rise for 10 minutes, but I actually let them rise for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I baked it in a 400 degree oven, and I believe I baked them for about 25 to 28 minutes. Just um, keep an eye on it, because you want it to just be lightly brown on top. You don't want to overbake it. Here I just dusted the top of the loaves with the extra butter. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.